Gemini, what is affecting you right now, in your subconscious, that you may not be aware of? It may have been a karmic relationship. That's why you feel so connected to them. That's why you think about them. That's why you expect a message of love from them. You expect them to come towards you as a prince or princess charming with love messages. With love messages for a restart, for another better restart, for another chance. That's what I'm getting. Now let's see about... What was the challenge in the past with them? What didn't work? Seven of Swords, some dishonesty, sneaky behaviors, them not being quite straightforward and honest with you, avoidance, not dealing with problems. But how do you view this situation? Ten of Cups, you still want to dream big about being with them long term and happy. You still have dreams about having that long term loving relationship, a stable one. And you think what is missing here is just a love message. Now let's see about your focus or something you may want to avoid. Your focus is that deep, powerful connection. It feels like it was a soulmate relationship and you want that kind of energy, kind of connection back. Those beautiful moments in the past to be relived. You want that relationship to be mutual in exchange of love, affection and attention to each other. This is Two of Cups is a soulmate relationship. Two of Cups also tells about a relationship that has not only that great love and connection and chemistry, but also there's a mutual understanding, great friendship at the same time. What you fear is that uh, what happened may have damaged heavily the relationship and it has many cracks and problems that need lots of time. Or you may want to... Uh, or you fear to accept that maybe that foundation of that castle of love is weak right now, is not that strong. What about uh, something for you to reflect on? King of Pentacles, do you believe a relationship with them can be stable? Do you believe they have been more, they have become more mature? Uh, they are more responsible and focused? Because that's what you want, apparently. What about the current energies of yours? You do think a lot about them. You do have physical attraction that is very high towards them as well. But just be aware that the connection was not that healthy. It was toxic many times. But despite that, you want to believe in this big attraction that is present there. But is it love at the same time, at least from their side? What is this strong connection? Is it love? Is it affection? It is just feeling good about getting attention? Is it just physical uh, chemistry? Physical connection? Is it lust or love? Now let's see about them. What are their energies towards you right now? Ace of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. Okay, they view things differently now and the King of Cups. I think they they think in a more mature way. They seem to be more focused. Uh, they have learned some lessons there. 
they're they are trying to focus in their business and their career. I think they are more stable emotionally. They are holding those feelings to themselves. I think they have feelings and love here. Why is this King of Cups? Let's see about that. Five of Pentacles. They have feelings, but they feel unloved by you. That's what I'm getting. I will continue now this reading in the extended where I want to view more details about those feelings. What kind of feelings do they have towards you? Let's see what else can we get there. How do they view you? What are their intentions for now? And about the energies around each one of you. If you want to watch the extended of this video, you can find it now in the description box below. Or if you are watching this from your mobile phone, you can just click the title. The description box will expand and at the top you can find the extended link. Thank you for watching. See you the next reading and bye for now.